Hi everyone, I've had a very rough week and an extremely tough day. I will do a video about this and probably publish it when I am ready to talk about it. But effectively, uh, I have been very, very low and uh, it's my birthday month and it's been years that I didn't have anything nice happen on my birthday and so when this happened for the seventh year in a row, I was just thinking, I really need to pick me up. So I picked something that was on my wish list for over 15 years. And it's not going to be, it's going to be an unboxing in the sense that I show you what's in the box, but it's also going to be a reveal because I, I actually left the store wearing it. I will also have an unboxing of my birthday gift that my lovely SA Ingrid gave me. Uh, so every time I feel I feel low, I give her a call, tell her Ingrid, what nice things do you have to show me? And she always shows me nice things. She's the kindest person ever. So let's bring some joy into an otherwise very dark, dark phase of my life. So what I got are diamond studs. I think you can get a glimpse of them, but I will give you close-ups. I'll show you first what's in the box because I think it's important to to walk you through that. Um, and then I'll show you what I got in my little birthday gift. And then I will do close-ups. So I will not go through the detail of the of the boxes etc because you have seen that on all my previous unboxings i asked for less packaging so i have directly the box so not the over box that you typically get because normally you have this inside a, a red box this is what the inside looks like and normally your little uh, earrings would be in here I'm just showing things that would be different to what you might normally have. This is a travel pouch. I already have one of those. Um, you have, it looks like this. And then you have a little pillow for your watch or your bracelet and then two pockets inside. So I'm going to have this in my travel bag. So I always love having travel pouches. And then you have a little cleaning kit so the small box comes in a big box like this one and inside you have a liquid this is a generic liquid so many brands actually have this and then you have um, a little polishing cloth and you have a very tiny <laughs> brush and that's just go inside the ridges and you have a small booklet that tells you how do you clean your jewelry etc so that's what's in the box itself. Then, this is the part I wanted to talk about because I think it's important. Um, so, if you've seen all my other unboxings, I didn't have booklets like that. And that's because what I bought this time are diamonds and this is my receipt, and that's fine. It's important to, to have certain documents for your diamonds. So what I have in here are, I have the, so it comes like this, right? I have a small booklet about Cartier diamonds, so it will probably explain uh, how Cartier selects their diamond, where do they source them from, how do they ensure welfare, what are the different grades that they have, uh, the different, um, uh, uh, how they do their quality checks, the different cuts they provide, etc., etc. Then you have a Cartier certificate, Normally with any jewelry piece that you get from Cartier, you will get a certificate. I've shown you that in I've shown you that in other unboxings. God. It comes in an envelope like this, and this is important for you to to uh, confirm the authenticity of your product. And then the two things that are important to have are these these are GIA certificates. This is important. Whenever you buy a diamond, you need to have that certificate. Obviously, you don't need to. You, you, I mean, there are different quality grades, but I'm saying if you're buying quality diamond, you need to have a GIA certificate. And this is something that uh, certifies the quality of your diamond, what is its uh, grading, what is its uh, uh, 
um, uh, cut, what are the treatments it might have had, if any? And then this is an independent laboratory, and when you have that certificate, you obviously you have it for life. So any time that I want, I can actually go to the GIA database and check my stones. If I were to resell this to somebody, uh, like my 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 earrings to somebody, they'd be able to 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 see when this was checked. And so this is for every stone. So when you see wrappers with iced out watches. These are not GIA diamonds, so they don't have 150 things like that. It's just the, the diamonds that get rejected from various processes. So every stone will have exact measurements, the proportions, what is the clarity, the, the color, the carat weight, what date it was tested, where it was tested. So I have one for every stone. So I just wanted to, to make that uh, uh, clear because I, I think sometimes uh, it can be unless unless you know that you don't know whether you're getting a good quality diamond or not and obviously you have all the checks like the Kimberley certification etc to make sure it's not a blood diamond etc etc now to the exciting part I'm going to put you on my couch so you can see what I see when I open in my gift right so this is the box it has this little bow tie or big bow tie like a little pouch oh this is lovely this is lovely it's a leather pouch it's like a cosmetics bag but actually oh actually you can wear it as a bag in it's an actual mini bag so I'm just removing the tissue inside to see what is the capacity inside I've never had a Cartier bag. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. This is actually a proper mini bag. I thought it was just like a... a so, okay, so here, here is the inside. So you have one back pocket here. Then you have a middle zipped pouch here. So that's the zipper. <laughs> and it has a little Cartier book and whatever. And then if I flip it... You have uh, uh, card holders, like they're built in, they're stuck in. And then you have one more pouch here. So it's actually a, re a real little bag. That is, that is very kind. So it's like a pochette like that. That is very sweet. That is so, so sweet. Thank you, Ingrid. Ah. Mm. Nice. So I'm going to keep that. Now onto the part everybody's waiting for, which is the close-ups. Let's do that. This is what the diamond looks like. You can see it's very small. This is how it's mounted. The closure is pretty is pretty special. I really like that. Let me put this now like this. The closure has a round side, if you see it sideways. One side is flat, one side is round. And what you want is for that round side to be uh, facing your ear. Then you have these little ridges. And when you want to put your stud on, you have to squeeze both of these for the opening insides to, to, to open. So it is a, a quite secure mechanism, so you cannot actually do it just like that. Unless you push these two, it won't move. And then you want this rounded bit to actually touch your ear. So this rounded side should be touching your ear. This way, your stud is quite secure. Normally, you wouldn't do this, or I wouldn't advise doing this um, if it weren't uh, a high quality gold like 18 carat um, I personally cannot do it with with metals like nickel or or even silver at times so for me with gold I am fine with having this touching my my skin uh, non-stop for months at a time I will not get a, a reaction from it
this is what the studs look like i wanted something for everyday wear they are 053 carats so quite small but i have small ears so anything else would make me look like a rapper or something uh, <laughs> Um, and then the cut is a round brilliant cut the stones are not exactly the same so in terms of color one of them is a G the other one is an H in terms of clarity one of them is a VVS one and the other is VVS two I don't really mind because to the naked eye they look exactly the same so the only reason you want to know these things is in case you wanted to sell this thing which I don't I want this for me so here is the other ear I just like them. I'll show you from afar. I think they are, they just brighten up my face. They pick up the light really, really nicely. And I think they're not too ostentatious. And um, yeah, I just wanted to do something nice for me because I've had, I've had a traumatic week. So I, honestly, I really hope that this is the last birthday that I can't celebrate. Maybe next year will be better. We'll see. I love them. I just love them. I actually wore them just leaving the store. I was like, I don't want to put them back in the box. That's how cute they are. And I've been wearing them since. And uh, yeah. Oh, I've wanted this for so, 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 so long. And I had to wait for so, 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 so long. But... I think it was worth the wait and I think it's nice that I did something this kind to myself on such a grim day so yeah that is it for today I just wanted to have a simple unboxing slash reveal tell you a little bit about my little purchase and um, yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comments I need to probably film my wishlist video after this because this was always on my wishlist but i don't mind that actually i already got an item on my wishlist already it's okay right you don't mind it's a bit of a spoiler but it is what it is send me good vibes send me really good vibes and positive energy i really need it thank you bye